everyone is fighting a battle that you know nothing of. So I have a vulnerability image for you just thinking about what it's like to live vulnerably, like lean into vulnerability with courage rather than sort of shy away from it and hide. I'm listening to Brene Brown and Krista Tippett from On Being and her two interviews. There was one interview done in 2015, I think, and this next interview that was on SoundCloud seven days ago or eight days ago at this point is another like reflection on that first one with new questions, just discussing uh, vulnerability and belonging and how those two fit in commonly between all people. And one of the ideas that I want to share that I had is this idea of being a torchbearer of torchbearer of courage, of being able to do courageous things vulnerably. So let's say everybody has a forest, a forest of their own that they have to trek through to engage with the world around them, right? Instead of creating an armor, instead of creating something that would prevent this, that would halt us from being vulnerable, we are, have we tor bear the torch to be fully seen and trek through the, that dark wilderness that we all have, like we all conquer our own. And the downside of being vulnerable, being betrayed, is that trauma, which isn't necessarily from a vulnerable choice, often it's just bad things that happen to us because life is a struggle, life's about suffering. The downside of trauma in high extreme cases is that it can lessen our ability to choose to be vulnerable, our willingness to remain open and want to be fully seen. So in this metaphor, the torch is the choice to be vulnerable, and without that torch, we trek a dark forest of our own that we don't really know how to get through. Yeah. Rene Brown says that there is no courage without vulnerability. There's this inextricable connectedness between all of people and being seen and being our best selves together. There's a truth in that that can't be severed. You know, I can't, like, disconnect my own connectedness to everything around me on like a basic level. So what do you think? I guess the question that I've been asking myself that I will ask you is what are some examples of moments where you've done something courageous that included being vulnerable? Can you think of any? As always, thanks for watching. Keep being you, Deep TBA. Everybody polka. See you sometime soon. Bye-bye.